Number 72, calculate the minimum thickness of an oil slick on water that appears blue when illuminated by white light perpendicular to its surface. Take the blue wavelength to be 470 nanometers and the index of refraction of oil to be 1.4. So um, check out number 71. I went through a detailed analysis of how to think through these oil slick type of problems. This is a thin film interference problem. What I'm going to do here is run through the formula. All right. So, because my explanation really isn't going to change uh, based upon number 71. So, this is going to tell us, this is the formula here that I'm going to be using uh, down here on the right that tells us the uh, thickness for constructive interference. All right, and then it's going to be equal to some multiple of the wavelength of the light in the medium, in this case, in the oil. So, if you think about this, if I need to find... If you think about all these as like different formulas, like this is one formula, it could also look like this. This could be 3 lambda n over 2. If you think about this, uh, there is going to be, we need to find the minimum thickness. Now, the minimum thickness would mean that I want the lowest value over here on the right-hand side, right? Because I mean, the thickness is equal to this. So notice, in this case, there is, this is a 1 half. This is basically a 1 half coefficient. But now this is 3 halves. And then after that, that's 5 halves. So they get larger and larger as you continue on out. So the minimum thickness will be found from this formula, okay? Now, in order to solve for that, all we simply have to do is multiply the 2 on out, right? So this would be wavelength n over 4. Now, this represents the wavelength in the oil slick, all right? Why? Check out number 71. So what we're going to do here is we're going to then take now the, and it's asking us for the minimum thickness, right? Now, here's the thing. It says the light appears to be blue. Now that is the, this is the wavelength then in air because this is what your eye is actually seeing according to what we explained in 71. So the wavelength here in air is going to be 470 nanometers, but I don't want to know that. I want to know the, in, the wavelength in the material, in the oil. So I need to use this formula on the upper right hand side. This says that the wavelength in a particular medium like oil will equal the wavelength in a vacuum, but remember the wavelength in a vacuum is very similar to that of air. It's so close because the indices of refraction are basically the same. Uh, divided then by the index of refraction here of the oil, right? So this is the wavelength in oil. So what I need to do is then calculate the wavelength in oil. That's the wavelength then in air, which is 470 nanometers. I'm going to leave it in terms of nanometers here and divide that by then 1.4. So we take our 470 divided by 1.4, we get now 335.7. So 335.7, and guess what? That's the value we need to plug in. So now we do 335.7 all now over four, and this will give us the minimum thickness of the film. So take that value, just divide it by four, and this would be now 83.9. Now careful with your units. In other words, this if this is nanometers, right? And this was just a number, then the unit here is nanometers. And that's fine. Convert that into meters if you like. All right. It all depends on what you need. But that's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. Please help us out by subscribing if you can. And I'll see you soon. Take care.